This tutorial will show you how to render the animation over a network. As you can see, I already have an animation set up on my timeline. And I'm obviously happy for it to be animated over the network. To animate over a network it is a lot faster. I'll, I will be using uh, five render cows. So that will share the load. So to do this I'm going to click here. Advanced render options pops up. My user settings I'm using is this resolution down here. Um, in channel files I just want to save the color file and I'll call this halo. As I have a halo character in this sequence. I am looking at 24 frames per second which is film quality and I'm not going to use internal renderer I want this process to, to speed up five times so that's why I'm using five render cows I'm going to press edit on the renderer I want to use the hyperview network manager and this loads already you can see that I have four hosts idle ready um, for the frames to be sent to them. What will happen is one frame will be sent to each computer until all the frames will be rendered and then the frames will be re um, sent back to the computer um, that it, uh, made the animation and then the codec on the computer will put all the frames together into an AVI or .mov file. Okay, I'm happy for that to start. I'm going to click close, click OK, and I'm going to click render animation now. Okay, this job is now scheduled, it's initializing. As you can see down here in rendering options, there are 244 frames to be rendered. These will be shared amongst these four other computers. I still have one other computer that I need to um, turn on and then turn on the render cow. With V8 and V6 and V7 you get up to five render cows. Any, any um, number over the five you need to pay for more. Um, I have yet to try rendering over the network with the render network option. So the environment is sent to each of the hosts and I'm expecting this to take several hours to render this scene. And that is how you set up an animation for rendering over the network. 